program. Okay, my computer is really uh, doing whatever the hell that it wants to do. So I hope I can get through this video. A subscriber sent me this link and she wrote in an email that this so-called second wave of a flu virus it's the B virus according to the CDC she had stated that the CDC has on their website non-influenza flu-like illness a non-flu flu-like illness N-I-F-L-I I went to the CDC website. I could not find that. So if any of you want to search the CDC website uh, and find it, well, please drop a comment below or the link below. But she did say that it killed a little girl in her neighborhood and made her sick for months. Tamiflu did nothing. Her whole family had it. Everyone she knows has it, and she lives out in California. She also wrote, she's a boxer, a martial artist, and fitness buff. It's so interesting to get some details about subscribers because I have an image of you guys based on the comments and emails that I receive from you. And you know what? Very often I'm wrong. That's why presumption really needs to be examined when those presumptions go off in your head about people. But she said, she being this fitness buff, she has never been as ill as she was when she got this non-flu flu. She wrote, it's relentless and extremely non-flu-like. Now, I have described the non-flu that I have had on occasion and I believe that it's brought on by the microwave frequencies. Yes, you can get flu-like symptoms from microwave frequencies from your Wi-Fi, from the cell towers, from your cell phones. Uh, the saturation of these frequencies can bring on an awful lot of very strange illnesses. My non-flu flu came on suddenly and it would only last for maybe a day or two and then I would suddenly feel better. The sudden onset of any kind of pain or any kind of um, illness I, I go to it was the frequencies that brought it on but I mean sudden, immediate Whatever this is, well, apparently, if the CDC has stated that it's a non-influenza flu-like illness, or that it's just this B virus, we have an awful lot of illness going on, not just here in our country, but in a lot of Western countries that are mysteries. And I will show you that in a moment. But this, uh, yeah, the CDC says that the B virus are being reported more frequently than the A strain, which had been more dominant recently. Flu season, it's winding down, but the Centers for Disease Control is warning of a second wave, flu virus B, which is happening right now. And apparently, it's more severe for younger children. So when I read that, having read the email sent by a subscriber, a little girl in her neighborhood died from it. Okay. Um, what, you know, they are accelerating all agendas. They are unleashing an awful lot of illness And I just so wish that people would begin to do some research to find out 
that, yeah, there is a deliberate agenda to depopulate the earth. And so many people are coming down with so many different diseases, illnesses, syndromes, leaving them in a very sick state. And many people are dying. So here they say, in New York, flu cases have declined for the fourth straight week. There have been more than 3,000 new cases of the flu reported this week. That's down 19% from last week. Hospitalizations are down 29% over the same period. But they're claiming that this new strain, this new wave of flu, is happening right now. But what else do they say? It's never too late to get the flu shot. Even though this new flu, this virus B, that suddenly just erupted, do you think that they have a vaccine for a new virus, a new flu virus, when it takes them about seven months to get a vaccine for a flu? And even though they don't know what the flu, the strain of the flu will be, they just start making these vaccines. This, are, yeah. Do you feel like you are drowning in a sea of stupidity? It's never too late to get a flu shot. So run out because there's a second wave of the flu happening right now. Even though the vaccine will not address this new wave of flu. Go get it. Go get the flu shot. You know, my doctor, my doctor had the vaccine, got the vaccine, and got the flu. Doctors who clearly know nothing about what is going on, they vaccinate themselves and they end up getting the flu. And many people who do get the flu shot come down with the flu. But you still can't get through to people who believe that the flu shot is going to protect them somehow. Look, vaccines, and I'll come across that article in a second, but vaccines have been... Here goes my computer. Um, causing an awful lot of people to have autoimmune diseases. Today, parenting team coughs. So, in January of this year, we had articles like this. Virus looks like flu, acts like flu, but it's not influenza. Wow. Well, how could a flu shot protect you from the flu if it's not the flu? Oh, it feels like the flu and even puts patients into the hospital like flu can. But there's another virus out there that could be adding to the seasonal misery. But it's not identified. The virus is called endo, endonavirus, and it can cause very severe flu-like symptoms. It's so risky that the U.S. military vaccinates recruits against two major strains. Didn't this article just say that it's not been identified? Okay. So, most people are not vaccinated against the endo, 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 no virus, endo, no virus. Wow. My brain. I think I have a virus in my brain. Um, doctors' offices don't test for it. And a doctor wants that to change. Unless you look for it, or you suspect it's circulating, or you are using diagnostic testing capabilities that can tell it apart, you're going to miss it, especially during flu season. That is an, coming from an infectious disease specialist at the Lovelace Respiratory Research Institute in Albuquerque. 
we are seeing severe adult infections. Where is this coming from? I believe that they are unleashing all of these viruses. So, what else do we have? The mystery viruses. Every day, I feel like I might die. 24-year-old model begs the internet for help after suffering uh, mystery illness for three years. This is the model. She comes down with a mystery illness and every day I feel like I might die from this. Doctors unable to diagnose what is going on. The past almost three years I have been suffering from an undiagnosed condition. I am asking all medical professionals near and far to please help me. Every day I feel like I might die. Wow. What's wrong with doctors that they cannot diagnose so many people? Parents who lost four children to mystery illness lay youngest daughter to rest. All four of their children died from a mystery illness. That's in the UK. But we've got our own mystery illnesses going on here in the United States. After years, Virginia woman finds answer to her mystery illness. She was very, very sick, felt like a cord was twisted around her abdomen, abdomen and getting tighter all the time. She felt sick to her stomach day and night, digestive issues that she'd rather not discuss. It was tightening. It was all she could consume was ginger ale and saltine crackers. She had pain. She had high blood pressure. She spent two years in the Army from 1994 to 1996. Always enjoyed running or riding a mountain bike. And then it all stopped. So doctors were telling her she had an autoimmune dis disorder or irritable bowel syndrome or MS or stress, allergies, as your gallbladder. One doctor said, nothing is wrong with you. Another paid so little attention as she talked that she got up and walked out of the office. I saw a lot of doctors who were quite frankly rude and very dismissive and I include that because so many of you have had that experience and, and I include myself. What did she have? She had an extremely rare condition called median arcuate ligament syndrome, MALS. Okay. It seems odd to me that they can't diagnose anybody properly anymore. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Guess what? Now they're claiming this mystery illness struck widespread brain networks of U.S. Embassy staff in Cuba. Oh, remember those sonic attacks? that our U.S. Embassy diplomats had experienced adverse effects, they saying that they heard uh, sounds, and all of this time it's been a sonic attack, and now they're claiming it's a mystery illness. They say this study, among the key points, it found that the symptoms may not have been from infrasound waves because sound in the audible range is not known to cause persistent injury to the central nervous system, and therefore the described sounds may have been associated with another form of exposure. Okay, let's break that down. 
it's clear, it's in your face. Some of the embassy diplomats heard noises and they were kind of like a, a screeching sound. Now, how many of us hear noises, the buzzing or the clicking sound or the uh, chirping sound, which is called tinnitus? Did we, do we claim that that is an external noise? No, but we hear it. And if, now this went on months and months ago, and these people, these U.S. Embassy diplomats, were studied by an awful lot of doctors, specialists, and they're only now getting to, well, they heard sounds within the audible range and those sounds are not known to cause persistent injury. Couldn't they have figured that out immediately if that were the case? It took them, what, six months to come up with this? Okay. I, I really do believe that there is an agenda to confuse the hell out of us and make us realize that there are no answers for anything anymore. And you just throw up your arms. How, how do you... <laughs> It's, it's very hard to deal with our experts and specialists and doctors who have no clue what the hell is going on. And you're left with having to make your own conclusions based on your own research. How anybody could give any credence, any respect to these experts and doctors and specialists today, I, it's beyond me. Fitbit was recalled due to mysterious electromagnetic frequency Wi-Fi symptoms. Complaints mounting. Yes, that wonderful Fitbit device is causing a lot of symptoms in those who wear it along with burning on their wrists. Now, when you see an article like this, Fitbit was recalled due to mysterious electromagnetic frequency Wi-Fi symptoms, you would hope that people would get, oh, well, maybe it's not just Fitbit. Maybe it's other gadgets that we have emitting electromagnetic frequency Wi-Fi and maybe that's dangerous to us too. But do people actually have the ability to see even just the headline and have it beg questions in their minds? I don't. Well, over 8 million U.S. children now on psychiatric drugs. Great. How fabulous. And here's a picture of a child. Oh, give me my drug, please. I need it because I'm mentally ill. How do you know you're mentally ill? Oh, because my parents told me I was. I was. Or my teachers said I was. Or my doctor said I was. I'm mentally ill. I need this medication to be normal, just like everybody else. Yeah, it is so profoundly disturbing, sickening, disgusting, how many children are being destroyed with psychiatric drugs. So now the U.S. is seeking death penalty in drug cases, but not for Big Pharma. Uh-uh. Do you want to know how many people have died from psychiatric medications? And I just lost that article somehow. But you want to know how many are getting destroyed 
by just psychiatric medications. But no, we're never going to discuss that. And what, how many hundreds of thousands die from medication put on the market as safe coming out of Big Pharma? But Big Pharma, well, they're Big Pharma. So they get to unleash all this medication onto the market. They get to kill people. And they have no liability. They're never held accountable. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? So, where are the rat studies? Oh, we had a rat study. Yes, another rat study. So we had our uh, government, the National Toxicology Project, which cost millions and millions and millions of dollars to do a study and they studied rats and they found, our own government found, that electromagnetic frequencies cause cancer. Another study confirms what our government study confirmed. Electromagnetic frequencies cause cancer. But Keep using your cell phones. Keep using all of the gadgets. So here, the link between vaccines and autoimmune disease. Are the vaccines causing an awful lot of these mystery illnesses? Well, perhaps. Perhaps. Autoimmune diseases have become increasingly common in the United States and other high-income countries over the past several decades and now affect an estimated 5%, 10% of the population in those countries, I would say that it's actually far higher than that 5.5%, 10%. Autoimmune diseases are skyrocketing, skyrocketing. And here, another study links cancer to vitamin D levels. I I'm sorry, I include that art, this article because we have a vitamin D deficiency in our country. And if you haven't had your blood tested, you haven't had your vitamin D tested, you might want to do that. I was very surprised when I was tested years ago, still living in Great Barrington, that I had a deficiency in vitamin D. And what did my doctor suggest? 50,000 milligrams of vitamin D and she was going to write me out a prescription. And I said, no, I'll take care of it myself. Do not get prescriptive vitamin D because Big Pharma is putting that vitamin D out onto the market and it's filled with a lot of synthetic chemicals that are not good for you. Get a very, very high dose of vitamin D and I did take 50,000 milligrams for a long time. My vitamin D levels are fine, but okay, vitamin D levels associated with cancer, uh, inflammation linked to cancer, Electromagnetic frequencies linked to cancer, vitamin C levels linked to cancer. I mean, it just goes on and on. Well, I can't get to this story. Sorry. Um, but here, another mystery illness causes a boy to have 50 seizures a day. 50 seizures a day. Was this boy? A Midland family is pleading for answers. Pleading for answers. Uh, because clearly doctors can't diagnose him. So I'm not terribly happy with this site. Um, did the boy get vaccinated? Is the boy 
sleeping with a baby monitor right next to his head, right next to his crib. I'll leave on a good note. Here we go. Remember that mystery illness? And I posted on this. Back in 2014, it took them four years to come to It May Be Solved. The mystery of a polio-like illness in Colorado and and another state, Utah, was it Wyoming? Not sure. But many kids came down with this mystery illness, which was, it resembled polio. They became paralyzed. And it took them four years, and the University of Colorado researchers, along with colleagues around the world to identify maybe the cause. Acute flaccid myelitis, which is a neurological illness that can cause paralysis, facial drooping, and muscle weakness. Okay, these kids presented with symptoms, paralysis, and facial drooping, and a whole lot of muscle weakness for those who were not completely paralyzed. It took them four years to maybe identify a cause. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, something is severely wrong with these doctors and researchers and experts. The likely cause, acute flaccid myelitis. All right. I don't know what to say anymore. Our countries, plural, meaning you guys up in Canada, you guys in Scotland, Ireland, England, you guys in Australia, you guys in the Netherlands, in Denmark, you guys in Iceland, New Zealand. <laughs> I think what we are all experiencing is that our professionals are really not very smart and that we do now have to rely on ourselves and each other to diagnose and to come up with cures to our diseases, viruses, illnesses, syndromes, But one thing we know for sure, this is not just an accident. Our new wave of the flu, non-flu, all of these mystery illnesses, it's brought about deliberately. Yes, we are living now a time where we are being killed off. And it's clear. And there's no way that any of us can fight this war that we are in. You know, I left a comment or a response to one of my subscribers. And it went something like this, that... Sorry for the car outside. Saying that if we were brought down like... like our own country brings down other countries, bombing them. We might know what to do. 
to fight that kind of war. Being brought down like this, when you have so many of your fellow citizens refusing to acknowledge we are at war, there's no way to fight this. So, the only thing that I can say is we all need to psychologically prepare ourselves for an awful lot of people dying dying early. I read a comment by a subscriber who was very, very upset watching my brain tumor, the increase in brain tumors. Um, his father died and he kept trying to get his father to not do what he was doing with his cell phone. And I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm remembering exactly what he wrote, but that he was sleeping with his cell phone and he always had his cell phone or that he was um, carrying that cell phone in his uh, front pocket of his shirt. And His father died of a brain tumor. It's hard to watch people that you love die. But it's harder to watch people die because they refused to change their own dangerous behavior. So what we're left with is to strengthen our emotional self spiritual self as we're concentrating on strengthening our physical self. It's hard already for so many and not being able to stop any of these agendas, it's only going to get harder, guys. <laughs>